Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net. It's Monday the 9th of February and this is your look ahead video. Thanks again for watching. Um, just take a quick look first of all at what's going on uh, with the El Nino events at the moment. And um, you see it's still a very, very weak event. It's up at sort of 0.7s at the moment. And this is the CFSV2 prediction for it. And it kind of holds it in at that very, very weak level. So only at about a 0.8 uh, to a 1. So it certainly is a very weak El Nino event at the moment. And if we look at the sea surface temperature analysis, you can, oh, the anomaly, sorry, you can actually see that weak event in here. So it is a very, very weak Nino event, and it's throwing the climate models out, actually, because, of course, it was predicted to be a strong event. Although, to be fair to them, they did kind of rein the necks in a little bit at the end of last year. Uh, elsewhere, the Atlantic still cool up towards the west of the UK and the west of Europe, but above normal temperatures across the north and the east of the UK. And, still, and then still this block, look, of warm water out in the western Atlantic. And both of these features are having an impact on the weather across the uh, across the UK. I mean, you tend to get warmer uh, water, you can get the potential going if you get cold air over the top for more uh, unstable conditions, so more in the way of showers. So uh, yeah, interesting times and a mass look of warm water still uh, across the uh, western seaboard of the states and uh, heading out into the eastern Pacific there. So certainly that pattern is having an impact on the weather as we see just at the moment. Now, uh, snowfall is something we haven't looked at for some time. This is Northern Hemispheric snow cover as of a Sunday. And uh, just compare that, and in fact, I mean, you can see here, look, uh, the snow coming into uh, Europe. Of course, that's the stuff that fell last week, basically covered across uh, Russia and into uh, near parts of Asia. Also down through Canada, getting into parts of the Northern States, we covered too. But compare that to this time last year, and you see how the snow is penetrating look a lot further south through the states but uh, also that Europe was relatively free from the snow and then compare that to 2012 so the same date in 2012 and that's how things look then uh, and just look how much snow there was across Europe during that winter so at the moment uh, actually snowfall amounts looking around about normal for the time of year it's about what we would expect as I say all of that having an impact on the uh, climate models and the predictions that they're making CFS is going pretty much on high pressure at the moment these are the uh, anomaly the height anomalies for week one and British Charles is underneath here look and notice how uh, week one the CFS is still building these height anomalies through the country so has the high pressure dominating that we've got at the moment uh, into week two still got those higher than normal heights out towards the west of the country so it sees the uh, higher than normal heights firmly in place jet is pushed further north up here and so it tries to keep us in the relatively dry conditions mainly dry conditions that we've got at the moment right the way into week two uh, of course i say mainly dry because friday this week looks as if it is going to become a bit of a wetter one and then uh week three and week four well week three keeps us in the higher than normal uh, category and if we take a look at week four, hey presto, look at that. Uh, same again, still keeps us, uh, get rid of that, still keeps us with the higher than normal heights, but out towards the west of the country by then. What it's trying to do is to build uh, the idea of the ridge in the Atlantic and actually pulls the jet closer through the British Isles. Now, we've been thinking uh, that we may go into quite an unsettled start to March and certainly this chart is indicating that that's the way that this could set up, particularly if we do get this scenario of the ridge across the western states, trough across the east, that allows this trough to try and get going uh, across the UK and probably what would happen is the high collapses out into the Atlantic down here and we find the ridge nudging further south and it eventually does that so it eventually pulls back in uh, across the UK uh, and it could bring us a more unsettled start to March but very early days at the moment. So I'll leave you with that for now, but that's the way that we're thinking of things, this idea of the high being in and perhaps hanging around for some time, but interspersed occasionally just with these little areas of low pressure uh, that are going to be punching through the system. Okay, if you need a forecast for the next few days, then you can watch our fast 
forecast. Gary has that for you. But for now, whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching weatherweb.net. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.